In this homework, we're talking about identifying functions and then determining the domain and range of the pictures. So here, number one, first we want to determine whether or not this is a function. Uh, remember, to determine if you have a function, uh, you can do the vertical line test. No matter where I draw a vertical line on this, I'm only going to hit one point. So yes, this is a function. So yes, it is a function. Then we want to talk about the domain and the range. Remember, the domain is the set of x values used to make this picture. So you see, as you go from left to right, this guy's including everything. Even though he's going up and down, I don't really care. But from left to right, he's including everything. So this, this would be all real numbers, so negative infinity to infinity. And the range. Notice there's a pattern that's going here with a range. He just keeps bouncing back and forth between here and here. In fact, if you were to squeeze all of this onto the y-axis, you'd be including from here going up to here. So we can look at this in interval notation from least to greatest. This guy's going all the way down to, see, one, two, three, four. So he's going from negative five all the way up to positive five. And we're just going to make the assumption that even here at the end, he's not just going all the way up. He's going to keep the same oscillating pattern back and forth. So, yes, it's a function. There's my domain and range. Now, what about number two? Is this guy a function? Well, if I were to draw a vertical line here, that's OK. But if I draw a vertical line right here, this guy is not a function because it goes through more than one point. So this guy is not a function. What about the domain? Well, as I go from left to right, he goes from all the way from negative infinity. He bounces a little bit, but he goes all the way out to the right without breaking. So this is from negative infinity to positive infinity. So all real numbers. And what about the range? Well, it looks like this guy's going to keep getting lower and lower. So it looks like he's coming all the way from negative infinity. And he goes all the way up to right here. And that's the highest he gets. So that's from negative infinity to positive 3. So here to compress everything onto the y-axis is from negative infinity to 3. If you compress everything onto the x-axis, this guy is going over, he bounces back, he keeps on going, bounces, and he keeps on going. So you see, that's everything that's on the x-axis. That's why it's all real numbers. Number three, is this guy a function? Well, he seems to pass the vertical line test. So yes, this guy is a function. What about the domain? Well, for my domain, if I were to kind of trace along the x-axis what I use, this guy goes all the way to the left, he goes down, he goes up, and he keeps going down. So that includes everything. There's, there's no skipping, there are no breaks. So this guy is, again, all real numbers. What about the range? Well, if you look at this guy, this guy's going all the way down. So he's going all the way down. He goes up. He goes down. He goes up. Now, I don't know why I did it from this point. Um, I guess I'm going from least to greatest. Uh, you could do it from up here. He's going from here. He goes down, up, and then down. So that ends up including everything. So this range is also all real numbers. So it's all a matter of what are you using to make the picture. OK, what about this last one, number four? Is this guy a function? Well, if I draw a vertical line, I'm going to be OK no matter where I am, even here in the middle where there's nothing. So this guy is a function. What about the domain? 
Well, if I look at this, this guy's going all the way out to the left. So he keeps on going and going until he gets to right here, right? And he just stops. Now this point is included, so there'd be a bracket there. But then there's this gap where there are no x values used. And it gets picked back up right here. He goes down and he goes up. He's going to keep on, keep on going. So what I've seen here is that he's going from negative infinity to positive 2, including that, union. He picks back up at 4, but not including that, and he keeps on going to positive infinity. Okay, so what about the range, though? On the range, this guy is here at negative 5, and this piece goes all the way up forever. So if I had just that piece, it would be from negative 5 to infinity. But I also have this piece. He's open here. He goes down. He goes down. And then he too goes all the way up. So when I put all of that together, I'm going from negative 5 to positive infinity. That's what it would take to incorporate all of the y-coordinates that I see here in this picture.